What's up, yo? So, so for Sick over here, bringing you a new video on how to build stronger legs. Um, sorry, I haven't been posting lately. Th this whole week was really a roller coaster of shit that happened to me. My car broke down, and um, it still hasn't turned on. You know, it's been a couple days since it hasn't turned on, so I think I'm gonna have to go get a new car. And I don't have any money, so I don't know how I'm gonna get that shit, but I mean, hey. <sighs> Anyways, so this time I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth of, on my workout, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get this shit started. <laughs> So, for the first two workouts, I didn't really record anything just because there was a lot of people in the gym and I, I actually don't feel too comfortable yet recording in the gym when there's a lot of people. I just feel like people are looking at me weird and like making funny faces. I don't know, like for me, it throws me off my game and I haven't really gotten used to that yet. So I'm just gonna tell you what I did for the first workout. So the first thing I did was um, I took a couple minutes to use the foam roller. It's gonna release a lot of the knots and a lot of the build up pressure that, that you get from like working out so much. It's a good thing because it'll warm you up, not, but not only will it warm you up, it'll help you with having a better leg day and um, not cramping up because I know some people have cramped up before. So for the first workout, I did squats and um, they're just regular squats, but I used a medium to moderate weight where I could get about five to eight reps. Um, so try to go all the way down, just so you can involve all the muscles from your inner thighs and everything, and you're gonna get a better pump. Um, you, you're gonna do eight reps um, or five, whichever you know, five to eight reps, um, and you're gonna do five sets of those. So five sets, right? You're gonna do five sets. Eight, um, five to eight reps and just make sure you really go down or at least go as down as you can go uh, as low as possible just so you can get a lot of the, a lot of the other muscles that you don't usually use to actually work um, that's how you're gonna get stronger so for the next workout I did stiff legged deadlifts and for this workout I either use um, a barbell or dumbbells I personally like doing the dumbbells better um, just because it's it's better for me um, I feel like you get a better pump this way because the, the weight is directly underneath you and you're able to have a little bit more motion you know so this is my third time filming this so I was already pretty tired so my form is not all too great but if you have a belt go ahead and use it because it puts a lot of it puts a lot of pressure in your back in your back um, if you don't, then go as heavy as you can go and without hurting your back, without right, or, or without making it round too much because um, you can really fuck up your back. So I did 12 reps for this one, so I did 3 sets of 12 um, and I went pretty heavy myself. So for this workout, you really want to make sure that you keep your back straight, your chest out and um, as you go down, you really want to make sure that you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. So if you don't feel a, um, a, a stretch in your hamstrings, try to kneel down just a little bit, just like at a slightly angle and keep it in that angle. So just keep your, your legs in a slight angle to the point where if you go down, you're gonna feel that stretch in your hamstrings and come back and squeeze. And then when you do that, you, you're automatically gonna feel that pump. Um, so just all you gotta do is repeat, repeat that. So you just gotta go down, your ass has to go back, feel that stretch in your hamstrings. As soon as you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, use that stretch to come back up and squeeze. Feel the, feeling the whole motion all throughout. So again, just do three sets of 12 and you should be good. 
and trust me when I say this, this leg workout will make you suffer. Like, I'm still feeling it right now. Every single time I get out of the bed, whenever I go to the bathroom, I feel it in my thighs and my ass. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> but god damn it, it hurts. So, try this whole routine out and you're gonna really feel that, that soreness in your legs. On to the next workout. So for the next workout, I did leg curls. I think that's what it is. Leg raise, leg curls, leg curls. I think that's what it is. Um, I used a pretty heavy weight, as heavy as I can, as I can go, because your, your legs are already gonna be pretty tired. So you gotta try to go as heavy as possible. So this whole routine, you gotta try to go as heavy as possible. Try to get um, a good amount of volume in, but still go pretty heavy. That way you can build a, a good amount of strength in your legs, but also put a little bit of volume in there. So you can um, sculpt those legs. So yeah, um, again, three sets of 12. Um, you can do three sets of 12, and you just gotta put your legs up. That's basically what you do. Um, just make sure that in the last rep, in the, in the last rep of every single set, you squeeze for at least five seconds on top. So squeeze for at least five seconds on, on top, and you're gonna feel that huge, huge pump in your thighs. You're gonna get them thunder thighs. The next workout. For the next workout, we did lunges. For my, in my gym, um, the distance of the lunges are just good enough to do six, six um, reps in one leg and six lep, six reps going back. So in, in total, it's gonna be 12 reps. So it's gonna be six reps, I guess, each leg. Um, so you just want to do, you want to go six forward and six back. So that'll be a total of 12 reps and you're going to do three sets of those. Just make sure that when you go down, try not to hit your, your knees because um, you, you can potentially injure your knees and we don't want that. So just go close enough to where you, where you feel that stretch on your, ham, on your hamstring and glutes. Blah, 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 blah. Just go low enough to, to the point where you feel that stretch in your glutes and come back up. Don't don't try to bounce from your from your knees because you can really 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 injure your knees and we don't want that. So again, do three sets of 12, six forward, six back, and go a really 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 well not not that heavy, but go in a really heavy weight or a weight you can handle where you can do a good amount of, of reps or at least 12 reps. I use um, one of the bars that was 110 pounds and um, and I was able to do it fine. Again, we're trying to go pretty heavy so we can build a, a good amount of strength but also put a, a good amount of volume in there. So heavy to moderate weight, again. But, so for the next workout I did I actually don't know how this is called um, glued something, I don't know. I don't know how it's called. But basically what you do is um, you rest your, your back. You rest the, your back in the, in the bench. Um, so basically, you're gonna sit down in the ground and rest your back in um, your back and sort of your elbows on the bench, right? And you're gonna get underneath a um, a bar. I used 45s because um, I was already pretty tired. I could go pretty, I could go heavier if I wanted to, but um, I was really I was really tired already from um, this leg workout. And like I said, trust me, in this workout is gonna get you super sore, super sore. So what I did was um, use a sweater or something for extra padding because it's really gonna hurt your um, your hip area. It's gonna hurt like a bitch, especially when you thrust forward. So basically what you do is you get underneath you get underneath the bar and um, you bring the bar up to your hip, right? What you gotta do is thrust forward. Your back kind of shifts from being in the edge, in the edge of the of the bench to going back. So you're trying to so you're trying to get your back on top of the bench in a way and squeeze on your glutes and um and really get that pump. Do eight to 12 reps for this one and do three sets of 8 to 12. Make sure you really feel that um, squeeze on top. 
So when you come back up, make sure you really squeeze on your ass. So weird. Make sure you really squeeze your butt. And um, you're gonna get a really good pump. And by the end of this workout, you're gonna go to your car and just be like, God damn it, I can't do this. <sighs> I can't talk. I don't know why I can't talk, guys. But I tried, you know, I did what I could do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. More videos to come. Next, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get abs. Because we all know I have amazing abs. Not really. So, yeah, guys, that's how to build uh, stronger legs. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, uh, this video, and I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm out.